Hi, I'm Jonathan, and I'm here, I'm the editor at HD Circle. I'm trying to introduce you all to the technology that will cure Huntington's disease, juvenile Huntington's disease, and many other diseases. Um, the background animation is from Harvard Biovisions. It's the uh, inner life of a cell, and um, shows you kind of how stuff works. Um, so I want to just narrate and tell you guys what's going on, um, winging it here. Um, basically what you're seeing in this animation is um, what's inside of a cell and as I see the stuff that refers to kind of what happens with interference RNA I'll try to narrate that um, this is what the surface of a cell looks like it has like all these oily bubbles floating around see this green stuff and it's basically just like a, a bubble of oil um, that different proteins get suspended in for communication between cells. See it right there, that's like the, the inside of the cell on my thumb side and the outside right there. And um, could be the other way around. But what's going on is um, within these cells, there's tons of proteins that are made, like these molecules here, um, that are spinning around. And they're created by. Um, a process in which genes are transcribed from the center of the cell to um, basically produce all these different shaped proteins. So what you're looking at now is um, again the surface of the cell, that's the oil lipid bilayer or whatever they call that. And um, well, I'm not sure what particle my head's stuck in. But you see how these strands are? These are self-assembling proteins that form like a geodesic dome. Like, you know when you blow up bubbles and you get like that soap in between? Well, the oil gets suspended in between these geodesic dome type shapes which are spontaneously generated from these special shaped proteins that are formed. And excuse me one second. You guys, I'm trying to record a video. Cut me a break. Thank you. And so what's going on as we travel inside the center of the cell is um, you can see this structure it's almost like um, a superstructure of a building like you know the iron railings and stuff welded together but this thing self assembles these proteins right here um, can be broken and reassembled instantly so if you like take a cell and you squeeze it, it changes the cell to structure um, but these things get broken and reestablished and uh, you can see right there that one was spontaneously generated across. Um, so, sitting inside this cell, um, you see that protein right there? Just came and it broke the bonds of this superstructure. I'm not sure why, but it's just what proteins do. They each have a different function. This is self assembly of the microtubules. Now, what's interesting about these things is they become the information superhighways within the cell. So you're going to see this little walking um, protein that is going to come up and walk on this. And that transfers dopamine and other things within a neuron that are generated in the nucleus to the surface. So when your nucleus gets triggered, see this guy right here? He's just walking up one of these information superhighways with the vesicle, filled, which is a little sack of oil filled with dopamine and other stuff that's created. And that little motor protein gets powered by ATP. Everything in your cell is powered by ATP, which is produced by your mitochondria. So there's two things I want to teach you about in this. I want to teach you about mitochondria because mitochondrial defects, this is mitochondria right here, are the um, causes probably of earlier onset, which creates juvenile Huntington's disease. Um, so this is what your cell looks like from the from a big standpoint. See right here, this is the center of the cell and all cells have like these circular centrales or something. But, um, so what goes on in Huntington's disease is you see these pores, these are nuclear pores. That is a RNA coming out, assembling in a circle. I hope you can see that. See the circle loop that was formed right there? And then this, this little thing right there is a ribosome. And so what it does is it goes around the circle and it spits out. See it spitting out the protein right here in my ear? Um, that's what creates all the shapes of the proteins within your cell. That ribosome reading the gene that was expressed by the nucleus. 
So what we're trying to do to cure Huntington's is to make sure that that ribosome doesn't read the gene that produces the bad mutant Huntington protein. And in doing so, we shut off the ability to create that circle right there, uh, that mutant protein um, that would create Huntington's disease, and then this little guy doesn't come and read it. So what we do is we program an interference RNA molecule that comes into the cell that keys up to these nuclear loops that correspond to that RNA circle and identify, just keys up to the ones for the mutant Huntington. And then what that does is um, it causes the, um, the cellular mechanisms with, that are in the cell to destroy that RNA expressed thing so you can no longer produce the mutant Huntington. There's another little walker thing taking its vesicle off to transmit dopamine from the center to the X. So, you know, when you get your neurons stimulated, these guys go in action and they move really fast. It's not as slow as this. I mean, um, your neurons talk at about 150 miles per hour. So the electrons go from one end to the other and they're transported with the dopamine releases. So it's just one amazing mechanism on how the body works. So there's that guy walking up there to the surface of the cell and said he had dopamine in him, he's going to go merge with that lipid bilayer on the surface like this, and all these little dopamine particles and other neurotransmitters get released. There's like 500 different neurotransmitters. There's cannabis receptors, there's all kinds of different things that let these neurons communicate with each other. But neurons are really big cells. They spread out, they have little fingers coming out from them, and these little fingers um, are what get fed. And when neurons talk to each other, they're like interconnected like this and this guy decides to make a connection right here so that's a synapse and that synapse junction is where the dopamine gets transmitted from one neuron to the other um, and the structure of neurons you know what they look like um, just kind of is different from other cells and it takes a lot of energy for these cells to live survive and maintain these stuff so the striatal neurons that get affected in Huntington's disease have a lot of these little spiny dendrites coming off of them and what happens is um, that gets compromised and at first because it takes a lot of energy for that and mutant Huntington down regulates the energy mechanisms within the cell so what we have going on is the metabolism gets affected by the mutant Huntington which reduces the energy which reduces the amount ability to transcribe and the Huntington builds up because of the shape of it and it clogs up the cell's ability to take these molecules and recycle them, which is through the autophagy system. So just wanted to kind of give you a general idea of what's going on with Huntington's and the idea that interference RNA will be the cure for this disease because it will shut off the ability to produce the mutant protein, which causes all of these problems. So thank you for listening to this very long video and take care.